What is going on, Sacktown? Sacktown Pete back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I want to talk about Keegan Murray, and I want to congratulate Keegan Murray on being, becoming the NBA Summer League MVP. No surprise. Um, he, from sh the very first game of the California Classic, or even the very first game of the Las Vegas Summer League, Keegan Murray showcased that he belongs. He belongs in the top five draft, NBA draft being selected at number four overall, and he belongs in the league, and in this case, the summer league. So Keegan went on to average 23 points, uh, seven and a half rebounds, two assists, 1.3 steals, while shooting 50% from the field and 40% overall from the three-point uh, range. Uh, blown away with his offensive capabilities and talents. Let's take a look at some highlights because I love Keegan Murray and we I think we all love some Keegan Murray highlights. So a little recap right here done by the Sacramento Kings official YouTube page. Look at that. The catch and shoot. That's all day, man. I love it. And then this big shot right here, deflection, the fakes out two guys, two defenders, and drills a big shot. Showcases clutch gene that he has in his arsenal. And Everybody should be excited about this man because this is no doubt in my mind this is going to translate over into the pros with the big boys. And you can see him right here catching off the pass off the dribble, step back. Oh, man. I mean, how could you guys not be excited about this? Yes, it's summer league, but look at the, look at the step back, the footwork. Guys, this is our power forward that's stepping back and making threes like this. And he could be our small forward as well. Goes to the hoop. Uh, I love what I'm seeing. I mean, I love what I've seen from Keegan this this summer league. Uh, look at that. Move, move, the movement without the ball. I know some have questioned that. I'm not questioning it. It's right there right in front of us, guys. He can move without the ball. Imagine him playing alongside Sabonis. And Sabonis, as great as a passer he is, he was gonna, he's going to find Keegan for a lot of open looks. Deflection, fast break, dunk. Let's go. Got me juice, guys. I'm excited about Keegan Murray's stint in his era, officially starting this fall with the Sacramento Kings. Um, I have him as the day one starter, uh, bearing a crazy uh, altering trade that the Kings may make. Uh, he will be a day one starter with Demonis Sabonis in the front line. Uh, there's no doubt, no doubt about that. So here he is coming off the screen. Double team, dishes the ball out. Look at that. Nice pass. Over the court pass as well. That was a very tough pass to make, and he and he just he made it. Made it with ease. The thing that's really super impressive about these highlights, he makes the game look so easy. And I think that he's very comfortable. Look at this tough shot off the foot. And oh my God. Uh this has me excited. This really has me excited. The fact that he's already mature and he's the most NBA ready prospect and he's showcasing this right now uh he, he or should i said he has showcased this catch and shoot money imagine getting those catch and shoots from fox and davion and everybody else that he's going to come across man i honestly love it a lot uh, you know big shout out to monty mcnair for uh, taking keegan murray at number four you know despite all the negativity or even despite what the draft experts and the mocks drafts had the Kings taken Ivy. Uh, what, even the critics that were saying the Kings should take Jaden Ivy, they're dumb to pass up on Jaden Ivy. And Monty McNair stuck his guns out, stuck, stood with Keegan Murray. And if Keegan Murray was available at number four, he was going to make Keegan Murray the, uh, the pick at four for the Kings. And he made me believe because I'll be honest with you guys, you know, Keegan Murray. I want it, it would have been an option, you know, pre-draft. Made a couple of videos. I don't know if you guys remember. I'm sure you guys do. But uh, when we drafted the fourth of our pick, I viewed Keegan Murray as an option at four. But I honestly thought that Jaden Ivey would have been the pick, considering the fact that um, he's a guard and the whole potential and being the best uh, player available on the draft by the time the Kings uh, are on the clock. Monty Canner went with Keegan Murray, man. And I'm starting to believe why and, you know, why he went with Keegan Murray. And this makes sense. This honestly makes sense. He's a plug and play guy. Some have still questioned his ceiling. I'm not even questioning his ceiling at this point, guys. 
despite that what he's done in the summer league and what he's done and what he's continued to do uh, when we, when training camp starts and the season starts, Keegan Murray's ceiling, um, he has a chance to be really, really special, a very special player. And I also love Keegan Murray, the fact that he posted on his Instagram earlier and he pretty much didn't even mention the whole summer league MVP. He just went on to say summer league with a hundred uh, emoji. I love that. I honestly love that about Keegan, man. Um, is this guy, are you guys sure this guy is a rookie? Because boy, he's not acting like one. Um, great, great kid. Great, great demeanor. Um, looking forward to big things. People have said, Pete, calm down. It's July. Uh, don't get too early. Don't get too excited. It's early on. Listen, if you guys think that Keegan Murray is going to be a bust in the NBA, I got bad news for you guys. You guys are in for a rude awakening because, uh, based on this talent and what we've seen this summer, Keegan Murray's not going to be a bust. And I can relate to that because uh, Davion Mitchell showed out, balled out last year and over the summer and led the Kings uh, summer league team to a championship over the summer as they beat the Celtics over the summer. And Davion Mitchell balled out. And the fact that we've had back-to-back summer league MVPs, Davion Mitchell was a summer league MVP last year, and uh, Keegan Murray is a summer league MVP this year. Uh, this we got something special brewing here in Sacramento, guys. Uh, be excited. You know, I know we've been through a lot over the, the last decade and a half, almost two decades, but we are on to something now. Uh, we got something brewing in here. Uh, it has me excited. I can't wait to see Keegan and Davey on the court at the same time together uh, when this new season is upon us in a couple months. And it has me excited. I'm saying that you guys should be excited as well. Let me know your guys' thoughts on Keegan Murray. Like I said, let me know your guys' thoughts on Keegan Murray being the MVP of the Summer League. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. And I just want to thank you guys. You know, we the Sacramento Kings finally look like they are steering and headed in the right direction. And Monty McNair should be sticking around to see this all play out. Because this is his plan and his vision. And there's no doubt the fact that he should be extended uh, moving forward. And I believe that he will be extended moving forward. So that's going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys take care. Have a great rest of your Monday evening. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.